Well, I told him the promised land was that crappy little area right off the Mediterranean. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? Tiny place with yeah. no oil. No oil. Sir. Sir, you have to stop your people. You gotta send down an angel, do something- Stop what? What are they doing? They're gonna stone an innocent girl to death. You're kidding, that's outrageous. What did she do? Well, well they're saying she's not a virgin. Oh, well. Oh. Well? It's just, you know, if she's not a virgin. Is she or isn't she? Uh, does it matter? They're gonna stone her to death. They're going to kill her. And she could have just been, you know, riding horseback or something. Well, she should have gone side saddle. Yeah, did, did they catch her fornicating? No! Well, so then how do they know she's not a virgin? Yeah. Uh, she was married yesterday, and her husband takes her up to the room, and you know, there was no... No evidence of virtue. Yeah, if you want to call it that. Well, I don't know what you want me to do about well, it. I want you to stop it. That's their culture. Uh, their culture? That's how they roll. That's how they roll. This this father probably put down a pretty penny for mm -hmm. the dowry, yeah. and I'll bet the groom was expecting some USDA prime, not something that's already been chewed on. I'll bet he's oh. ticked. Yeah. yeah, and this girl made her father look like a total schmuck. Total schmuck. His reputation will never be the same never. if he does nothing. He'll have no honor. Larry, this guy thought he was driving off the lot in a brand new caddy, and then he gets her home, pops the hood, and sees nothing but wear and tear, and there's no oil in the damn thing. Dry motor. I mean, if, th th if that doesn't deserve some kind of punishment, I don't know what does. So do all the men have to be virgins too? Why? No, I don't, I don't know why that would be necessary. Well, how do you work the math on that one? It takes two to tango. Hey, look, I'm the first to admit, I'm not good at math. And he doesn't like to tango. He's no. more of a... Disco. Sir, come on. You know this isn't right. I don't know that. And besides, what am I supposed to do about the Prime Directive? I'm, I'm just going to ignore that all of a sudden? The what? The, the Prime, Prime Directive. Directive. Yeah, it states that we're not allowed to interfere with other cultures. No interfering. That's not our thing. That's Star Trek. Really? So, it's still a good idea. Yeah, so? Uh, sir, they're saying it was your idea to begin with. Okay, I, I might have said something like that when I was hanging with Mo on, on the mount. I, I just had that big fight with Lucy about the whole virgin thing. She's always on me, oh, you know that. So see, you've been interfering since the beginning. And what has it gotten me? Okay, if you're not gonna step in for the girl, what about your reputation? My reputation? Yeah, years from now. People are gonna look back and say, right, these were Mr. Deity's people. He was calling the shots, and this is the kind of immoral thing he let go on. In fact, ordered, I'm gonna listen to him, please. Yeah, and I will have a simple, powerful two-word reply. Tell him. Prime Directive. Prime Directive, that's right. Did you see the new Star Trek movie, by the way? That Abrams thing? Yeah, that Abrams thing? Unbelievable. That's amazing, fantastic. Uh, is that Abrams guy one of our people? It's Hollywood, of course he's one of our right. people. Love old who's he, spot. Who's he calling? Who is he calling? Uh, hi, Lucy, Larry here. Guess who wants all of the women to be virgins? Larry is basically tattling on Mr. Deity. It's very subtle. I don't know if you picked up on that. Anyway, thanks for watching our first new episode of Mr. Deity in uh, over a year. The next one won't take that long, I promise. We're planning new episodes every other week, along with new episodes of Words after Kenny gets back from Italy, of course, and uh, the new Larry Deity interviews, which will start sometime next week. I wanted to let you know that we have relaunched our website, MrDD.com, and you'll find info on all our projects there, from the Smiler Day email and our new album of music to words, the fan blog, merchandise, and a new recommended section. You'll also find contact information and character bios. But the best part is that MrDD.com is now the only place on the web where you'll find all the episodes of Mr. Deity in one place, at least that I know of. And while you're there, if you can afford to make a contribution to keep the show moving forward, or you'd like to sign up for a weekly or monthly donation, please do so. It will really help us out now that we're no longer with Sony and have no one else backing the show. If you can't, continue to enjoy the show both on YouTube and through our iTunes podcast. We love doing it, and we love having you watch. So stay tuned and tubed, as I like to say, and we'll see you real soon.